Om Shanti. This is the Sakar Moli of the 6th of March 2024. Essence. Sweet children, it is now your stage of retirement because you have to go home beyond sound. Therefore, stay in remembrance and become pure. Question. In order to reach the high destination, to which aspect do you have to pay attention? Answer. Be cautious about your eyes. They are very deceptive. Criminal eyes cause a lot of damage. Therefore, as much as possible, consider yourselves to be souls and remember the Father. Practice the vision of brotherhood. Wake up early in the morning, sit in solitude and talk to yourselves. God's order is, sweet children, lust is the greatest enemy, therefore remain cautious. Om Shanti You sweetest spiritual children have understood that it is not a human being who is teaching you here. Only those who understand this can come here. It is God who is teaching you here. There has to be the recognition of God. The name is so great. God. And then they say that he is beyond name and form. Actually, he is beyond in a practical way. He is such a tiny point. It is said that a soul is a star. Those stars are not tiny. This soul, a star, is truly tiny. The father too is a point. The Father is ever pure. His praise is the ocean of knowledge and the ocean of peace. There is no question of being confused about this. The main thing is to become pure. There is fighting because of vice. They call out to the purifier in order to become pure. So surely you have to become pure. You mustn't be confused about this. Whatever happened in the past, whatever obstacles etc. there were, they were nothing new. Innocent ones had to be assaulted. These things do not exist in other spiritual gatherings. There is no upheaval anywhere else. Here there is upheaval, especially because of this aspect. The Father comes to make you pure, and so there is so much upheaval. The Father sits here and teaches you. The Father says, I come when it is the stage of retirement. The law of the stage of retirement began here. So those who are in the stage of retirement would surely stay beyond sound. In order to go beyond sound, you have to remember the Father fully and become pure. There is only one way to become pure. If you want to go back, you definitely have to become pure. Everyone has to go back home. It is not just two or four that have to go back. The whole impure world has to change. No one knows about this drama. This cycle of the drama is from the Golden Age to the Iron Age. The Father says, Consider yourselves to be souls and remember the Father and also definitely become pure. Only then will you be able to go to the land of peace and the land of happiness. It is remembered that the bestower of liberation and salvation is only one. 
There are very few in the Golden Age and they remain pure. In the Iron Age there are innumerable religions and they become impure. This is something easy and the Father tells you in advance. The Father knows that there will definitely be upheaval. If he didn't know this, why would he have created the clever method for you to bring a letter saying that you want to go to drink the nectar of knowledge? He knows that it is fixed in the drama for this fighting to take place. Those who are to be amazed will recognize him and take this knowledge very well. They even give this knowledge to others and then, O oh Maya, you pull them to you. All of this is fixed in the drama. No one can prevent what is destined. People simply say these words but they don't understand the meaning of them. Children, this is a very elevated study. These eyes are so deceptive, don't even ask. The world is Tamopradan. At colleges they are very bad. Don't even ask about the situation abroad. Such things do not exist in the golden age. Those people say that it has been hundreds of thousands of years since the golden age existed. The father says, it was only yesterday that I departed after giving you your fortune of the kingdom. You lost everything. In the world as well, a father says, I gave you so much property and you lost everything. There are even such children who lose all the property in just a short time. The unlimited father also says, I departed after giving you so much wealth. I made you into such worthy masters of the world. And now, according to the drama, this has become your condition. You are those same children of mine, are you not? You were so wealthy. This is an unlimited thing which you explain. There is the story of a boy who used to cry out every day that a lion had come, but the lion never came. One day the lion truly did come. You too say that death is about to come and people say, Every day you say this, but destruction doesn't take place. You know that destruction will definitely take place one day. They have made up that story from this. The unlimited father says that it is not their fault. The same thing happened in the previous cycle too. It is a matter of 5,000 years. Baba has said many times, You can continue to write. The museum opened in exactly the same way 5,000 years ago too to establish the deity religion in Barrett. Write it so clearly that people can come and understand that Baba has come. The inheritance from the Father is the sovereignty of heaven. Barrett was heaven. First of all, there is heaven in the new Barrett in the new world. Heaven then becomes hell. This is a very big unlimited drama. All are actors in it. We have played our parts of 84 births and are now to go back home. Previously we were the masters and we have now become poverty stricken. We are now following Baba's directions and becoming the masters. You know that you make Barrett into heaven every cycle by following Srimat. 
you definitely also have to become pure. Because of becoming pure, there are assaults. The father explains a lot to you children, but then when you go outside, you become senseless. There are those who are amazed by this knowledge, listened to the knowledge, spoke the knowledge and gave the knowledge to others, then, oh Maya, they become the same as they were previously. In fact, they become even worse. They become trapped in the vice of lust and fall. Shiv Baba is making this Barrett into Shivalaya. So you children should also make effort. That unlimited Baba is a very sweet Baba. If everyone were to know this, so many would come here and there wouldn't be any studying. Solitude is needed to study. The mornings are very quiet and peaceful. We consider ourselves to be souls and we remember the Father. How would our sins be absolved except by having remembrance? You just have this one concern. You have now become impure and poverty stricken and so how can you become double crowned? The father explains a very simple thing to you. There will be upheavals. There is nothing to be afraid of. This father is very ordinary. He dresses in the same way, etc. There is no difference externally. Sannyasis at least leave their homes and families and wear saffron robes. But this one dresses in the same way. It is just that the father has entered him. There is no other difference. Just as a father looks after his children with love and sustains them, similarly, this one also does the same. There is no question of arrogance. He lives very ordinarily. However, buildings have to be built for all of you to stay in. They are also ordinary. The unlimited father is teaching you. The father is the magnet. Is this a small thing? When daughters become pure, they receive a lot of happiness. Those people say that there is some power but they don't understand what that power is. The Father is the Almighty Authority. He makes everyone the same, but not everyone can become the same. In that case, everyone's features would be the same and their status would also be the same. This drama is predestined. In 84 births, you receive the same 84 features that you have received every cycle. You will continue to receive those same features. There cannot be any difference in that. These matters have to be understood and imbibed. Destruction definitely has to take place. There cannot be peace in the world at this time. They continue to fight among themselves. Death is just over your heads. According to the drama, the one original eternal deity religion has to be established and all the rest have to be destroyed. They continue to manufacture atomic bombs. There will also be natural calamities. Big rocks will fall and all the buildings etc. will be destroyed. No matter how strong they make the buildings or how strong the foundations are, none of them will remain. 
They think that such buildings will not fall even in earthquakes. However, it is said, no matter what you do, even if you make 100 story buildings, destruction definitely has to take place. None of this will remain. You children have come here to receive the inheritance of heaven. Look what is happening abroad. That is called the pomp of Ravan. Maya says, I too am no less. There you will have palaces studded with diamonds and jewels. There everything will be golden. There is no need to build any double or triple story buildings there. Land doesn't even cost anything there. You have everything present in front of you. Therefore you children have to make a lot of effort. You have to give everyone the message. Children become very good guides and come here to become refreshed. This is also fixed in the drama. They will come again. So many have come. I don't know if I will be able to see them all again or not. Whether all of them will be able to stay here or not. So many have come, but there are also those who were amazed by this knowledge and then ran away. They write, Baba, I have fallen. Oh, you have lost whatever you had earned. You won't be able to claim such a high status. This is the greatest disobedience. Those people issue an ordinance. No one should go outside after such and such a time, otherwise they will be shot. The father also says, If you indulge in vice, you will be shot. God's order is, remain cautious. Nowadays, they make such things out of gas, etc., that people die while just sitting somewhere. All of this is fixed in the drama, because no hospitals, etc., will remain at the end. A soul sheds a body and quickly takes another. All his sorrow and suffering ends. There is no suffering etc. there. Souls are free. A soul sheds his body when he has lived his full lifespan. Death doesn't exist there. Ravan itself doesn't exist there. So how could death come there? They are messengers of Ravan, not of God. God's children are very lovely. A father can never bear to see his children suffering. According to the drama, you experience three quarters happiness. You should follow the directions of the father who gives you so much happiness. This is your final birth. The father says, Stay at home with your families and become pure in this final birth. Only by having remembrance of the Father will your sins be absolved. You have the sins of many births on your heads. You definitely have to become Sato Pradhan from Tamo Pradhan. The Father is the Almighty Authority. All of those who study the scriptures, etc., are called authorities. The father says, I am the authority for everyone. I tell you the essence of all the scriptures through Brahma. Consider yourselves to be souls and remember me and your sins will be absolved. How could you become pure by bathing in water? When there was a little water somewhere, they would even believe that to be a pilgrimage place and quickly bathe there. That is called Tamopradan faith. 
Yours is Sato Pradhan faith. The father explains. There is nothing to be afraid of in this. Acha. To the sweetest beloved, long lost and now found children, love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father, Bat Dada. The spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children and the spiritual children say Namaste to the spiritual father. Essence Vedana 1. Never disobey the order to become pure that God has given you. Remain very, very cautious. Become pure and give the return of the sustenance you have received from both Bap and Dada. 2. The destiny of the drama is fixed. Recognize this and remain constantly carefree. Enable the Father's message to reach everyone before destruction takes place. Blessing May you be a greatly charitable soul and quench the thirst of souls who are thirsty for the nectar of knowledge. To quench the thirst of a thirsty person is an act of great charity. When someone doesn't obtain water, he craves it. In the same way, because of not receiving the nectar of knowledge, souls are desperate and are experiencing sorrow and peacelessness. Therefore, give them the nectar of knowledge and quench their thirst. Just as you make time for your meals because it is necessary, So it is also necessary to carry out this act of charity. Therefore you have to make time to take this chance and only then will you be called a greatly charitable soul. Slogan Put a full stop to the past and move forward with courage and you will continue to receive the Father's help. Om Shanti